small issue, just mentioning what you already saw, that you have now gotten the general picture, I hope, with the way those three distributions, and in fact many other similar distributions, are directly available to us in R. And it's a part of you working with probability and statistics to be able to work with these distributions. And the only tool we are giving you to find those probability distributions is the R tool. They can be found many other places out there, of course. But for us, we expect you to be able to use R for working with these distributions. Because we don't expect you to sit and add up 200 probabilities uh, in, in, uh, by yourself. Um, D for density, P for distribution function, and R for random number simulations that we use to play around with for pedagogical reasons. And later on, we're going to use it for hardcore probability calculus computations on the computer. For now, we're just playing around with a random feature to learn about what randomness really is. Use question mark, and then the Q, we'll get back to the Q next time. That's the quantiles, but the inverse, you can see it. But we don't really use it for the discrete ones here. But we are going to use it extensively for some of the continuous ones as of next week and following. That's distributions in R, something very important to you to be able to work with. Two more questions, so we'll see if we are getting a new winner. You're being challenged now. It's not easy to be clear in 30 seconds. Or was it even only 20 this time? I, d I forgot about that. But again, you're not doing too bad, actually. Falk is on the top. One more question at the end. We have one topic left for the discrete distribution. And that's then back to the generic 